guy started his business ten years ago here in South Korea, and his business became so successful that he met all the famous and important people here and there. Oh, does it look familiar to you? Yeah, he appeared in my videos a few times and helped me and my mom to get some cosmetic procedures. He was even on Forbes magazine, NBC News, and what is it? Estonia Channel 2 News, just so many. You know, in South Korea, it's really hard to find a successful foreign CEO. I was wondering, what is the secret? So I just visited his office and asked him. Uh, this is our office building. What? Is this your office? You must be kidding me. His office is in the center of Gangnam and I've never seen any office like this in my life. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, what is it? It's just cool place so people are happy because if you work in an environment that's not yeah. conducive for creativity, it, it's really it's really tough. Can I, can I? Yeah, yeah, swing on the chair. <laughs> wow. Is this office? So, this we don't really use for meetings unless I really want to, but this is more for like... Wow. Beanbag chairs. So oh come, my, come I, back, love, come I love beanbag. Oh, oh. so comfy. When did you start your business? This, this company has, since the inception, for almost 10 years now. Almost 10 years? Yeah. <gasps> Wow. Our company motto is not about money. Our company motto is happy patients always and our mission <laughs> statement is um, for the happiness of our customers, our partners and our workers. Mm -hmm. So the philosophy is if we make everybody around us happy then yeah. money will come. Oh, so you made all the patients happy and First, then... And then, and then, you know, people yeah. spread the word and then things go. We have our own coffee for free, right? Ah. Coffee, hot chocolate, whatever, so we can come up here and drink. Usually I hang out with my friends here at nighttime, but it's kind of rainy today, so they covered it. I like the view though, the view is so nice. Of the... yeah. And here's the rooftop of this building. You can see the whole Gangnam area here. So this is a place where like workers can come and work and there's more bigger meeting rooms over there. Oh. Morning, they serve uh, breakfast. Breakfast? You don't Do they give you breakfast? Yeah. Choo -choo. What? Because we, we like it's all inclusive in the building. We pay we pay for everything. So oh. the workers can get um, access to free cereal over there. And yeah. cookies and nice water oh. and it's now, good for creativity. Can I work here? <laughs> yeah, you're hired. <laughs> Uh, we use this for like big presentations. Okay, what is this place? You can eat and play games. At this point, you're gonna be wondering, so what kind of business is it doing? So, hi, I'm Tony from Soul Guide <laughs> Medical. <laughs> so, we're a medical tourism agency. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the largest medical tourism agency in Korea mm -hmm. and we deal mostly with plastic surgery, skin care and dental. So we help foreign patients from overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're in Korea, they come, they get um, treatments through us mm -hmm. at our partner hospitals. So we are connected with the best hospitals and doctors in Korea. Uh -huh. We have about 20 services, over 20 services now that we offer that the hospitals don't. And it's cheaper to come to us than it is to go to the hospital directly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the issue is like people think, where I come from, people think if you do everything by yourself, it's cheaper. It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. not that way in Korea. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, the hospital's not designed to take care of a foreign person. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to stay? Who's going to pick you up? Who's going to do the translation? Who's going to answer your emails in English? They have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. So they have to pay their people. So the prices they give us are minus that. Oh. So we, we offer we can get lower prices for our patients than they can get by themselves. In fact, the patient who came here today mm -hmm. was telling us about that. She met a girl at a hospital, yeah. and the girl at the hospital went by herself, mm -hmm. and she was having so many issues because there's no one to help her. Mm -hmm. And she paid a higher price. Oh. So it's basically a win-win for the patient, mm -hmm. for us, 
and for the hospital. That's why the Korean government created the system. Mm, I got some injections thanks to you, right? And my mom. And, and, and some, uh, some yeah, other skin care. Yeah, some skin care and everything. So where did you get this idea about this so, medical service? So this idea came up because I went to a dental clinic a long time ago. Dental and, clinic? And I couldn't speak Korean at that point. Yeah. And they pulled out all four of my wisdom teeth and my wisdom teeth were inverted. And uh -oh. for two days, I thought I was going to die. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> and there was no one to give me aftercare, no one to help me get my medication. Yeah. I actually would have paid more money. I would have paid quadruple the money if someone would have helped me. And I didn't uh -oh. have money, but I would have paid it. But there was no one to help me at that point. <laughs> so I got the idea, well, why not create a service where you can help people mm -hmm. to get better, like mm. make people happy, patients happy. Because yeah. I had such a miserable time. Mm. So we started off at the dental clinic and then wow. moved to plastic surgeries and skin. Now it's time to ask him how he started this company because I'm really interested in business too. Even I'm Korean, but it's really hard to do my business. It's really hard to start and make it you know, successful. It's very difficult, right? Right. But as a foreigner, how it became this successful? To be honest, as a foreigner, it's very difficult in Korea to start a business. Very, very difficult. But Korea has one advantage over Canada and I love Canada, I'm Canadian. <laughs> but it, it, has, it has one advantage over other countries is that if you're really, really good at what you do and you have a lot of passion, anything's possible. Korean mm. people really respect work and work ethic and people wanting to improve society and life. So. I figured people in Korea have built all of this mm -hmm. within 60, 70 years. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. I can contribute something to the society too. Mm -hmm. So first it was all human effort. I think I was showing you photos of <laughs> when we started the business, I would go to clubs. Yeah, yeah I saw that one. <laughs> I, I would go to clubs and I would put on like a doctor's <laughs> suit from the dentist that he gave me and something with my name on it. And I would hand out business cards because I used to know the club promoters. And I would meet like a thousand people every day, handing them out my business cards, taking photos. And then we would have parties inside of the clinics. I would invite a bunch of people yeah. and to get the word out that 